In this video, we'll take a look at Filmora 13's screen recorder. Now, this is a game changer because it now supports multi-track screen recording. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, in previous versions of Filmora, it was not possible to record your screen and your webcam as two separate videos. But this has changed in Filmora 13 because now you can record your webcam and your PC screen as two separate videos. Now, this opens up a whole lot of edit features that you can do to your webcam. You can do the circle mask on your webcam and a whole lot of things, especially when it comes to moving your talking head uh, so that it's not obscuring anything that you're trying to explain. Let me walk you step by step on how you can do this. And it's a really cool feature for Filmora to add in Filmora. Now, to begin the screen recorder, you just come to the record. I've opened up uh, my Filmora. Just click on record, record PC screen. I'll click on that. And once I click on that, the record interface is going to pop up. So by default, you'll see my webcam right here. And we have a bunch of options here. So we've got the full screen, custom target window. I always go with the full screen, that's okay. And then we've got the mic here. You can choose your mic and I'm going to go with analog plus one. Uh, because that is what I believe uh, is going to take the best uh, audio quality. The speakers, I'll leave them as it is. And then as for the webcam, you can choose whatever camera you have here. I'm going to go with uh, what I have here. And then from here, you'll see there's a new recording mode. Camera screen merging. Now, this is what was the default. The computer screen and camera footage are merged into a single track. Now, this was what was the default, but now, the new feature, camera screen splitting, and the computer screen and camera footage are placed on separate tracks, allowing for separate editing. This is what is a game changer in Filmora 13. I'll just do this, and once you toggle whatever uh, option you toggle, it turns on the other. So I've turned off the camera screen merging, and it turned on camera screen splitting. So you can add a title to your video, and where it's recorded, scroll down, whatever frame rate you want, and then you can scroll down again. You can also set it uh, on a record timer, and this is really awesome. Uh, you can hide the mouse, but I'll let it be on. And then have, let's say a green one is good. And then you'll see the different keys. To pause or resume, it's F10. To start or stop, it's F9. So you can also enable GPU acceleration if you have a graphics processing unit. Uh, but let's assume that's all that you wanted to do. So what I'm going to do now is just, I'll just click on record this particular button. It's going to give us a countdown. Hi everyone, my name is David and welcome to this video. Uh, you can see we're looking at the weather or whatever is going on right about here, the news. Explain whatever you explain, uh, you want to explain. Or even if you are playing a game or something, then you can still explain what is going on. Uh, you can see all the different options that are available here for you. So this is an example of screen recording that probably you're doing, trying to explain whatever you want to explain. Once you're done, you can press off on F9 to uh, finish up your recording and everything is going to come uh, back here. Now, just close this. Once you close this, you'll get this one footage here. So we can add it to the timeline. And once we add it to the timeline, you'll notice that we now have a bunch of separate tracks. So we've got this particular track here is the webcam track. This is a screen recording and this is the audio. And this is really awesome in that we can now make our different manipulations or editing the way we want to do it. So for example, let's say we want to kinda edit this particular uh, video that is the webcam. So we can do something like, let's say we add maybe an image mask. Let's add an image mask to this particular, so that we can create a circle crop of, uh, of sorts. Just drag and drop right there on the video. We already have it, have it applied. I can just double click. So you can actually fine tune this. And I can actually start by making it a little bit bigger so that we can see it clearly. Mm. So 
uh, let us see you can change the width but it's good to have it at 100 100 uh, and I okay actually feel that it looks okay there's nothing more to add or change here I'll just click on okay and then we can add a border to make it a, uh, look a little bit better let's just go with this one just drag and drop it on this video and we're actually going to get that border if you double click on the video you can scroll down and you'll see the border uh, and you can change the different colors uh, that you want uh, let's say you go with something like this uh, that looks a little bit better then we can just adjust this to kind of look uh, let's see to kind of look like that and then you can use the arrow keys on your computer to kind of position it uh, precisely so if we actually play this hi everyone my name is David and welcome to this video uh, you can see we're looking at the weather or whatever is going on right about here the news explain whatever you explain uh, you want to explain or even if you are playing a game or something then you can still explain what is going on uh, you can see all the different options that are available here for you so this is an example of screen recording you get the gist of this so it's super super simple now that we have uh, the multi-track screen recording uh, you'll see it as one video but when you drag and drop it right inside here is just your webcam your video and your audio and this is really really awesome that we can actually record in multi-tracks for a pc screen and then for your webcam as separate tracks that you can actually make changes and manipulations to unlike the previous versions of filmora uh, and this is awesome and it's also good that they they've left the option to merge uh, the camera footages for people who are already used to that particular workflow so they're not limited to what they actually uh, want to do so that's the new filmora 13 screen recorder and the multi-track screen recording uh, is available for everyone to use i hope this video is of value to you thanks for watching